Hey everybody, it's your girl Sincerely Dree and I'm back today with another video. As y'all can see down below, y'all know what's about to happen today. We are back with another wig video. Before we get into that, just real quick, y'all see the shirt. Y'all see the branding. You already know what's about to happen. But let's hop right back into the video. So today we have another wig that we're trying. Y'all know we tried wig season last year. And it was working a little well. So we're back today because it's getting a little bit cold outside. So we want to see what's popping with the wig. So the wig that we have today is Miss Kamalia from the Outre Melted Hairline Lace Front Wig Series. So this is what she looks like. Okay. Um, and I have Kamalia in DRFF2 Cherry Red. And I believe the DRFF stands for Dark Roots Front Framing? Face Framing. Okay, yeah. The DRFF stands for Dark Roots face framing i don't know what two means but dark roots face i don't know what the two means but dark roots face framing cherry red so let's pop her out of this and y'all i'm kind of scared for this one because you y'all know i don't really play around with the colors and wigs too too much but last time we did brown and i really like that so I wanted to try a little red, sort of something, something. Okay, so let's take a look at this stock card real quick. We have Miss Altre from the Melted Hairline series in the style Kamalia, as we already talked about before. It's kind of what the stock card looks like. So on the front, it says, because this is my first time with an Altre wig and from the Melted Hairline series. So let's just see what it's supposed to be about. It's supposed to be a lace front wig. It's supposed to be redesigned for comfort with the ear contour. And it's also supposed to have a frontal effect hairline with no plugging required. And she says that it is heat it has a heat resistant fiber and it's safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And it also claims to have HD transparent lace. It says that it includes baby hair and has a pre it has a pre-attached wide elastic band. Okay, y'all, this is my first time trying a wig with a elastic band. But the girls have been saying the elastic bands make it look all melted and nice and flat. So we're going to be trying that out. Um, so it's supposed to have ear-to-ear -ear lace, blah, 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 a five-inch deep part in, transparent lace. We already talked about all that other stuff before. When it comes in a couple colors, I'll just show y'all that real quick. And I believe she also is a side part, but we'll see if we get into it. So there's a color that it offers if you're into trying different colors. So definitely Kamalia is something that if you're trying to get into colors, you can try her. So let's show y'all what she is looking like straight out of the box. Here's what we got going on in the front with the lace and all that sort of stuff. what it's looking like so we got some dark roots and then let's show y'all the inside with the wig construction so in side of the wig it looks like this you have only one part you have a side part you have two combs in the front one over there one over there then in the back you have another comb you also have these adjustable straps i don't know if you can see it but you have the adjustable you have the adjustable straps and then there's also the elastic band they were talking about so i'm interested in this and i like the wig cap construction as well it doesn't have like the thick sort of cap in there so it should be breathable but it's gonna get cut outside anyway so i'm not really concerned about that so we're gonna go ahead and put on a wig cap and then we'll put her on with the legs to see that what we were given so I'm gonna go ahead and put a wig cap on and then we're gonna slap Miss Kamalia on to see what she's looking like, still with the lace on, see what it's given, and then we'll go from there. So you already know, got my bonnet on. Look at the braids. Look at it. Okay, I'm sorry, but they look so good. Um, the color that I'm going to be using today for a wig cap is just the natural brown. This is what I've used in the past before. Um, 
and it's been working for me so we're gonna continue to use it and I personally like to pull my wig cap just a little bit behind like my actual hairline and now let's slap Miss Kanye on oh she tight girl Oh, it's tight. Okay. So this is what Kamalia is looking like so far. And if y'all see me looking over here, it's because my mirror is over here. You already know the drill. But this is what she's looking like. Let's come up, show y'all. So definitely this wig cap is just a little too light but we are going to work on sort of tinting that um this so far is really lightweight like there's a lot of curls in it but it's very lightweight like i don't really feel like there's anything on my head right now um the color is cute for sure but we're gonna have to work through these curls and then like i said this cap baby this cap baby it, it is so I do have a little bit of a big ass, but Miss Ma'am is tight. So we're gonna see what we can do with these adjustable straps cause baby, it's not even on anything. The adjustable straps aren't even on anything and it is already tight. And I didn't use the um, band that time either. So I don't really know. But like we saw, this is a little too light for this sort of lace. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and tint this wig cap real quick. And to tint it, I'm gonna be using the Even Lace Tinted in the color medium brown. Y'all know I've used this before and it ain't did me no wrong. So we're just going ahead and use this and then we're gonna see whether I need to color, whether I need to tint the actual wig cap lace or what as well. And so our lace is still looking a little bit too light. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to tint the actual lace on the wig. We're just... The lace is now looking good. The only issue now, cause like if you see it in the front, it's blending really nice with my actual hair. It's the cap now, cause that little line of demarcation. So I'm gonna go in with a little powder on that and see if we can just make that line disappear. We don't wanna see her. Okay, y'all, so I'm back, took the wig off. Cause y'all saw that little, that little line of wig demarcation between the wig cap just wasn't doing it for me. So I went, I got a darker wig cap. We're gonna see if this works out. I don't know. If you are a wig professional or someone who has been wearing wigs for a long time, let me know what y'all would do for this. Just cause y'all know I'm still new to this. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just, trying different things seeing what works hopefully this one works i'm hoping that this one will blend with my skin tone just a little bit more so hopefully we don't get that little line but i'm really not sure okay so we have this one on when the pop miss kamalia back on oh yeah oh yeah this is it <laughs> this is it for sure 
like you can still kind of see the wig cap just a little bit but it's definitely not showing as much as it was showing before so let's just show y'all i see it you kind of do gotta yeah i need to pull this up because i'm like you can see a little dark line of hair in there so we're gonna pull the wig cap down just a little bit more and I know some people just do the ball cap method, but y'all, I'm still new to all this, so I'm not really confident in doing the ball cap method. Um, and I do like the ability to like be able to take this off whenever. And the ball cap method just seems a little too permanent for me. Okay, we're back. This is what we're looking like. There's no hair right there. So I guess it's just hair right here that needs to be fixed because I do see like the little dark line, but we're gonna work on that. So we're just gonna go and cut this lace off next. And then we're gonna see what we're gonna do about that later. So you already know the way that I do mine. I have no clips here, y'all. I have no clips. I'll be right back with some clips. So we're back with some clips. We'll just try to clip all this hair in the front out of our way so that we can get to cut in without cutting any of the hair. So if y'all have ever watched any of my videos, y'all know that I like to cut my hair in three first and then cut across, or I like to cut it in three sections. But so far I'm only at middle part, so I'm not sure if like, that'd be the same thing I would do for this. So I'm guessing I'll do a slit over here. So now y'all see I got like three little sections to work with. I'm gonna start with the sides and then I'm gonna handle this middle. So to cut off the lace, I'm going to be using a little eyebrow razor. I just like it because it gives you that little like differentiated part i don't know how to explain it but it doesn't give you like a straight cut which i know you can do with like scissors but i don't know i like this method a little bit more Um, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually gonna take this off and cut off the ear tabs because the ear tabs are still there, but I couldn't get to them. So I'm just gonna cut off these two sides. Taping here. But just like those little sides right there, just to get them out of the way. And I'm gonna just cut that with scissors. Okay, so this is what we're looking at now. If y'all can see it, we still have a line. We still have a lot of lace going on in the front. But what I'm gonna do before I cut more, because I don't wanna cut too much, is we're gonna try something a little different this time. Y'all know usually up until now, all of my wigs that I've tried on here have been glueless. But I wanted to try the glue, you know? I wanted to figure out what's going on but we're not doing like no lace glue we're actually gonna do one of the little adhesive sprays so today i'm gonna be using the even wonder lace wand adhesive spray and the extreme firm hold active one what it looks like so y'all if i mess this up we just gonna see what's going on because baby i ain't never used none of this before okay so I guess we're just spraying. We're just gonna start spraying it. So I'm gonna start from this side over here, just so that if it don't look good, don't nobody gotta see it. So we're gonna start from the side.
So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna cut just a little bit more of this lace off that just looks like it's too long, like up here in the front. There's just a little bit too much lace. I'm gonna try to cut some of that off. But I need the scissors. Y'all, I've glued down all of this side and right there. I didn't really glue down over here because like the bang is covering it. So I really don't see the point in gluing that part down. It looks a little better, but okay, so it looks a little better, but I'm gonna go in once more, a little bit more of this spray just to make it blend okay now what i'm going to do is okay this ear tab is still coming up a little bit so we're gonna spray this done this down I feel like I need some baby hair just to cover up this lace a little bit. Like, it is a blending a little bit more. The lights are making it look way crazier than it is, but it is blending a little bit more. Um, but I do think some baby hairs are necessary. So we're gonna see what we can do, because y'all know me. I do not do the baby hairs and such, but we gonna do what we gotta do for this week, because it's cute. It's really cute. I'm gonna go in with some even extreme firm hold for the hour edge tamer for this. So the baby hairs are done. Not too much, like I said, I am still new. But y'all, we are pulling out all the strings for this one because baby, she's really testing me. But I bought this wig band elastic because I saw on a lot of other people's videos that apparently if you use this, it helps lay your edges just a little bit more. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this on and then we're gonna see what's popping after. And hopefully this helps me lay this little edge right here that I just don't wanna lay for no reason. Okay, so now while this is laying down those edges and melting down that lace let's work on these curls because like, we've been on here for a long time now we are working on this for about an hour so y'all see what's going on i'm just going to comb through these to sort of clump the curls back together of course you already know start from the bottom work your way up Uh 
Okay, so these are what the curls on Camellia is looking like. It's really cute. It's really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. This is what the cherry red is looking like. It's like a light, subtle, subtle. <laughs> it's a light, subtle red. And it's really cute. For me, I'm about five, three and a half, five, four. And it comes to right here. Let's see the back. Comes right here. So, so it's a long, it's a long unit. So you gotta watch when you're wearing it and all that sort of stuff. I know a lot of people say it's not an everyday wig, but um, we're gonna make it one. <laughs> so this is what it's looking like. It's really cute. Um, let's just talk about the wig while we're waiting for this lace to melt. So for starters, I love the curls. The curls are very cute, very, very cute. The color is also very cute. It's like nice and subtle. It's not like any bright fire truck red. We gotta work our way up there, but it's a nice way to get started in color to where it's light, like it's subtle. If people don't see it for real, for real, they might still think that your hair is like maybe a brown or like a black or something. But if they come close, they can like really see what's going on. And it gives you really natural vibes because like you see the top is dark rooted. So it's still like giving you a little black and then transition into the color. So it's really cute for that. Um, I'm not sure if I said this, but it's very lightweight. Like, yes, this thing is long, but it's very lightweight. But at the same time, it's full. It doesn't seem thin or anything like that. It's still very full, but lightweight. So... I would say you could wear this in the summer for sure. Like, yes, it is still long. Yes, you are going to be a little hot. But even with that, it's very lightweight. It's not like dragging me down right now. Um, also, this top part is very flat. Like usually with some of my other wigs I've tried before, y'all have seen me, I usually have to go in with some sort of curling iron or flat iron something and flatten up the top. But I didn't have to flatten up the top at all. So that's also... A nice plus, a nice positive. Um, the only thing that I personally struggle with is because of how, what are they, what are they trying to call it? Transparent or HD? Yeah. Because of how transparent the lace was, it was very hard for me as a beginner. Now, I know some of y'all can be more advanced and it's like, okay, yeah, you should have this, should have that, blah, blah, blah. For a beginner, I think that it does require a little bit of work. Like y'all saw me, I had to go out and change my wig cap. Y'all saw me, I had to glue the lace down and gluing the lace down did help it a little bit more than it was if it wasn't glued down so i may be trying to use this a little bit more but i had to glue it down to get it more melted i had to do the edges right now we're using the elastic blend the elastic band and this is all stuff that i think is more like intermediate or advanced friendly but not necessarily friendly for bare bone beginners like i am this is probably like my fourth wig that i'm trying um so yeah, that is the one thing I will say. It's not very beginner friendly, but as long as you are willing to like put in a little bit of work, I think it could help. Um, the baby hairs, like I said, they weren't necessarily baby hairs. Like they were like very little, but as compared to some of my sensational butter lace units, definitely there were not baby hairs on this as much as there are on that line of wigs. So you do have to go in and cut a little bit of those baby hairs if you are someone who does like to use those. Um, other things, I did have to tint the lace, but I mean, per usual for all of us, nice melanated queens, you are gonna have to do that with most of the wigs that you're getting anyway. But other than that, I really do like it. You can't really see the knots too, too much. I think it's very cute. I can see myself wearing this a lot. It's giving. It's definitely giving for sure. But yeah, so if we're speaking pros and cons for this wig, I would say pros are the color for sure. Another pro is the weight and the density of it as well. Con, which isn't a con for everybody like I said earlier, not beginner friendly. Another con, which I don't know if it's a con, but it's something I guess that needs to be stated is that if you are someone who does have a little bit of a bigger head, this is going to be tight. Like I said, right now I'm not using the elastic band and it is a little snug. Now, it's not something that I feel like right now is going to hurt my head, at least for right now, but it is snug. So for the smaller headed people, this is definitely gonna work for you. Like I don't have the adjustable straps or elastic band on. So if you attach both of those, it's definitely gonna work. But for my big headed people, just like me, it's gonna be a little snug, but it will work. Cause I know 
at least this wig did come down to the front of my head some of the other wigs i've had in the past like my edges in the front are out because it's not big head friendly at all um but yeah those are a couple of things that i would say the main thing is just like you have to get the right wig cap and i think if i were to do this one again if i was a little bit more advanced i think the ball cap method would work really good for this because you wouldn't have to worry about that sort of line of demarcation because that part usually gets cut off anyway but i'm just not i'm not ready for that right now but give me a second give this like two three more weeks you might get to that point just not right now so it's been sitting in for a hot second we're gonna go ahead and take this elastic band off and see what she's giving the girls Okay, so we definitely are laid down, but we also definitely have like some glue that got in there. So I'm going to go in and I'm actually going to go get some like a little cotton ball and some alcohol real quick so we can rub that off. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I'm just going to go in and clean off my skin of the glue real quick and then I feel like we should be done I definitely should have got a q-tip or something okay y'all so this is the final look we're gonna put back up the camera to see y'all see this is what we're looking like the lights the studio lights are not doing it justice but definitely from my mirror over here it's giving very much scalp it's giving very much lace wear but over here okay y'all so y'all heard my pros and cons on this wig i like it for sure but it was definitely something that needed to needed a little bit of work for sure definitely needed a little bit of work but this is Altre's melted hairline Kamalia in the color cherry red here's what it looks like I'm just gonna show y'all to the front looks like Um, I wasn't really running my hands through it that much, but there is a little bit of shedding that I'm getting, but it's only like a couple strands. It's nothing too, too crazy. I'm not getting any tangling as of right now, Ooh. <laughs> but I'm not, outside of that, I haven't gotten any tangling even when I was running the wig brush through the hair earlier. Okay, so we are getting a little bit of shedding now, but I mean, it's a synthetic unit. You didn't pay that much for it, so you should expect shedding. I mean, if we're being completely honest here. If y'all have any wig recommendations, let me know down below because I'm trying to go on this wig journey, just trying to see what I like, what I don't like, all that sort of stuff. So definitely leave me down some suggestions down below. We will have another wig video coming out very soon, so make sure you subscribe and the notification bell so you know when that one comes out. Stay tuned, because I'm really excited for that one as well. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, my eyes are Jerry, just so you can see how this wig up keeps. Because, yeah, of course, you know I'm on Instagram way more than I am on YouTube, of course. And remember that I love you guys so, so, so much. And my name is Sincerely Dre, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!